to my channel. So as you may have known, I moved into a new apartment and I just wanted to show you a little update of what my new bedroom looks like. I'm only gonna be showing my bedroom just because my living room is kind of a hot mess right now. It's not fully decorated, so I don't wanna show it. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I post content about what it's like to navigate life and dating in San Francisco. So if you're thinking about moving to the Bay Area, you live in the Bay Area, you're a single navigating the dating world, whatever the case may be, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and show you my new bedroom. Here's what the room looks like when you're standing in the doorway. Here, I'm gonna back up a little bit. But yep, here you go. You have so much natural light. I absolutely love that I have a bay window and I just feel like I don't even need to turn lights on because I have so much natural light, which is what I want and it just looks so beautiful. So let's just kind of go in a little bit further and I'll show you everything. On the back of my door, I have my hanging door mirror. I love that it has the gold frame. I had this in my old apartment, so I decided to transfer it over. And then I have a cute little sign for a fall because I did decorate my room for fall. I still have the good vibes only sign. And there is Elsa's cat tree where she can be queen of the castle. So let's go over to my dresser. You might have noticed that, that this looks really similar to my apartment when I was living in the hate, but I kind of just touched it up just a little bit. So I still have my books here. And then I have two old candles that I use as book placement holder things, whatever they're called, the book ledges. I don't even know what they're called anymore, but that's what I use them for. And then I got this really cute pumpkin at Target. So I loved that. I thought it looked really cute on my dressers. I have my jewelry holder. I have a candle burning that I got at Target. It is pumpkin spice donut. It smells so good. And then of course you have my little motto. If you can dream it, do it. And then I just have some cute little knickknacks. I wanted to change this fake flower set out with some fall flowers, but I couldn't find any at Target and I just didn't feel like ordering any off Amazon, so I just kept it for the time being. But hopefully for the holidays, I'll change that out. And then I currently have my vision board up here, which we will definitely go over next month at the end of 2020 to see if I accomplish anything on it. And then I have my San Francisco map from the 19 somethings, really, really old map. I love it, it looks so great in my room. So now we have my little vanity area. So here I have some candles for the fall. I have a spice pumpkin candle and then I have two little pumpkin tea light candles that I am not gonna burn, they're just gonna be for decoration. I have my water bottle over there, my coffee mug. Here is where I keep my vitamins. And then behind this mirror, I have my setting spray, some hand sanitizer, and my deodorant, so I just hide that. I have some of my makeup here, so this is kind of all my lip products, my lip gloss, blushes and bronzer, mascaras, eyeliner. I have a ton of makeup. I have a bunch of skincare products up here, so we have moisturizers, we have perfumes, we have sunscreen, we have some clay face masks and some serums. That's kind of where I keep all of that. And then on the other side, I have some of my makeup brushes that I don't use all the time. I'll touch them from time to time. I have my lip liners, I have some palettes, so there's some highlighters, small eyeshadow palettes that I keep over here. My tubular lipsticks I keep over here. Here. And then I just had some extra space for my Fenty Trio stick, some lip balm. This is a highlighter. Yeah, that's a highlighter. There's just random skincare products in here. There is miscellaneous uh, beauty accessories in here. And then I have some smaller palettes in here that I keep. And I just keep my computer here. I have my cute little fuzzy chair that I got off Amazon. And then in these drawers, this is just kind of a drunk drawer, nothing really special in there. And then I have some office supplies stuff in here. In this drawer, again, just junk, things that I don't know where to put, random shit. This is supposed to be a cat window thing and I disassemble it because I didn't want to put it on my window. Sorry, Elsa. So this was kind of a waste of money because Elsa didn't even like it anyway, so I just kind of have it here. And then in this drawer, I have all my vitamins. I'm ridiculous, but I have to take a ton of vitamins. So then if we go to the other side, so fun fact, the reason why my desk looks like this is because 
my movers broke my desk so what I did is I ripped off the leg from this desk and then I bought one of the Ikea Alex set dressers and I just kind of use that to kind of hold up the desk even though it is really short but the thing is if you look carefully you see the nails from the other desk they lay perfectly on the dresser and that way I can use the desk perfectly and I didn't have to spend a ton of money on a new one so in this drawer I just keep some of my skincare products and face masks in here and then in this drawer we have hair care products so I have hairsprays dry shampoos hair oils and treatments like that this is really washed out okay so I just turned the aperture down a lot so you could see that but yeah that's basically my hair care drawer in this dresser I just keep all my hair brushes and my heat tools in here this drawer is a little empty but this is where I keep some bigger eyeshadow palettes I have a beauty sponge my eyelashes nothing too exciting in here and then nothing really in here except for a candle and a menorah <laughs> Okay, so now I have the other side of the bay window. So I had my old futon frame. If you remember from my other room, I had this beige futon that I ordered off Amazon. It was pretty cheap looking, but the thing is I had to get rid of the beige cushion because this hungry little bitch decided to pee on it. Yeah, so I had to toss it. Yeah, you go ahead and eat your food, brat. Anyway, so I have a cute little love fall bathroom mat doormat thing right here in front of the sofa. So the way that I did it, this sofa is I kind of DIY'd it. So I kept the old frame, but I had my white bench that I used to keep at the end of my bed for my hate apartment, if you remember that. So I uninstalled the legs and I stored them back in the bench. And I put the bench on top of the futon and then I also took my old fuzzy white rug and I bought a bolster pillow and I just threw it over the pillow and I basically made it look like a sofa. And then I bought this orange pillow and this cute pearlish white metallic -y pillow from Target to give it a little bit of a fun fall theme. So yeah, I basically DIY'd my sofa. And then there is Elsa always trying to be the center of attention. So now let's go over to my nightstand. I just bought that pink lamp from Target. I thought it was so pretty. And there is my water tumbler. I have another candle burning. It's bourbon pumpkin I got from Target. And as you can see, it's almost done burning out, but I still use it because I want to make the most out of my candles. And then I just ordered a cute little fake pumpkin from Target and more pumpkin tea light candles that I just use for decoration. And then with my nightstand, I never showed you what's inside. I'm not going to open that drawer up because there's inappropriate things in there and then this one is just a bunch of junk so here is my beats wire cord I have a very very bad first aid kit some packaging tape pads just junk and then in here okay so in here it's just junk. I have my bikinis and then I have a toolkit. I have my Tahoe Show metal that's just kind of chilling there. I have basically a hard makeup bag that I use for traveling. I have a desk organizer thing. Just, just junk in here. Here I have a little basket of my planner and my journal for content planning. Okay, so here is my bed. Pretty much the same theme as it was in my old hate apartment. I got this bed set from Wayfair and then the bed frame is from Amazon. And then onto the side is where I put my ring light because I don't really know where else to put it because I actually don't want to put it in my closet and I'll show you why in a second. But I decided to order new fairy lights for my room because my old ones, actually, wait, you can't see this, hang on. Ah, that's better. I just made the picture darker so you could see it. But yeah, I just kind of strung some fairy lights on this wall because the other ones broke. I hung my four by six San Francisco pictures on the wall above my bed. I probably want to get a couple more prints because it does look a little silly with these four just kind of floating around. But hey, you know what? That's me. I'm unique and I'm not perfect. Okay, and so here is my closet. It's pretty big. I love that there's a gold frame around it. So just kind of show you the inside of my closet. Okay, this is kind of embarrassing because it's just really unorganized, especially when it comes to the shoes. I mean, look at that. I just threw them on top of there. But here's all my clothes, my laundry basket. 
I just kind of threw shit all over the floor because I just didn't have enough room and my suitcases are in here. So that's kind of why everything's so squished together. So then I'll show you the other side. So basically I use this side of the closet for Elsa's litter box and then I have my crafting box and then Elsa's cat carrier on the other side of the shelf. And yeah, and then here as you can see are the suitcases. I don't know if you can see that, it's really dark in here. Basically put my suitcases in here because I don't have anywhere else to put them and they don't fit underneath my bed. So yeah, this is my closet, it's a hot mess. And then I only keep the closet door kind of cracked so Elsa can get in and have her own little space to go to the bathroom. So there you have it. This is my new San Francisco bedroom and how I decorated it for fall. I will do another video of me decorating it for the holidays and hopefully I can show you my living room next month as well because it just needs more work. I will be honest, I don't plan on living in this apartment forever. I would like to try to get my own place sometime within 2021 or 2022. I'm working on just trying to make that happen so I can afford it because I'm not gonna lie, I don't really like the landlords of this apartment. Also for the fact that this is a four bedroom apartment, I would really like to not live with that many people. As fun as it is, I'm kind of getting a little bit over it and I really would like to have my own space. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my new room tour and how I decorated for fall. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Bye.